Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking throughout the journey of our oral bot based on the Python framework costing utilities. It's a simple yet effective bot with basic functionalities of kicking off, rushing, shooting the ball to the goal, of course, and uh, taking the boosters and defensing at the same time. It's a well-rounded bot focused on the ball mostly, and my colleagues will take you through the journey of this project by explaining the decision tree of this bot, and my colleague Temu will follow up on that. Hi guys, so I will be trying to explain the decision tree of this bot. Uh, initially, the, uh, the purpose of decision tree is to uh, make uh, the uh, functions and putting the conditions which are true and which are false and using those conditions, uh, bringing the results out. So as you can see from the screen, for example, uh, there is a kickoff and then we have the option of if like we our board have chance to shoot the ball, yes or no, then it's have that uh, it, what direction it aims on and uh, how to take the boost in this way. And if it's rushed back to our own goal um, to uh, save the goal or what time to take booster, which booster to take, these kind of things are the, uh, done in this decision tree. And it, it's helped uh, us make a really good bot so about this, these functions, now my colleague Dalera will explain it to you. Thanks. All right, now let's go deeper into the functions. So first of all, of course, we have implemented the function of attacking. Uh, that means our bot, is mostly uh, our bot is mostly focused on the ball. If we have the chance to shoot, it will take a shot and it will take the shot between two paws. It will try to uh, use boosters at the same time, and it will try sometimes to make a really powerful shot. All right, talking about the second function, certainly it's about uh, taking the boosts. So uh, we have implemented the cases where our bot uses the opportunity to take the boost to be faster than opponents. The first case consists of two parts, which means that uh, if we don't have any boost left, if we are with zero boost left, our bot is slower and the ball is far away from our part or our distance, then we use the moment to take the nearest boost. Or another case would be if the boosts are really close to us, uh, closer than 100, then we will use the opportunity again and take the boosts. All right, coming up next would be the defending strategy. So in case of defense, um, if you remember at the beginning, if we don't have the chance to shoot, we will just rush backwards to our own goal to defend the goal. But we also have the case here, if, our, if we are closer to the ball while rushing backwards, let's say, then the then opponent, then we are going to take a, a rush to the ball and try to hit the ball far away. However, if you're not closer to the ball than opponent, then we will just rush to our goal, stay there and try to keep it safe and wait for the moment to defend and shoot it uh, forward. All right, shortly, let's now check the behavior of the game live. There we go. We are playing two against two against uh, bots, Joey bot and Penguin bot. And our teammate is colleague, as you see, uh, instantly it's rushing backwards to defense the goal and now the change of behavior rushing after the ball chasing the ball making a shot not that good but we will try again oh that was a goal all right as always the kickoff routine rushing towards the ball trying to hit first rushing backwards defend All right, again, going to the defense. Now, getting ready for the shot, but there was a slight collision. Yeah, another shot. Sometimes it does miss, but most of the time it's really precise. As you can see now, it's rushing still after the ball, since the ball is closer to it than the opponents. And also, the it's not far away. All right, grabbing the boost and now getting ready to shot. All right, once again. Oh, there, there we go, another goal. 
So now I would like that we will make the conclusion regarding our project and the video which you have seen. So you can see the board is pretty simple and a pretty simple board can achieve really a decent level. Uh, it's not that good if you want to do that, like it's not that complex and either, but it's really a competitive board. So that's pretty much uh, workable. And then like in the videos or behind the videos, like we have checked the, the teaming of the board and the pros are really up or like it's really delivered the pros when it comes to the teaming, when you, we do the teaming in the, and we can see, or you can read that in the whole report, which I, we have forwarded to you. So that's a pretty good board. And like uh, the further conclusion, I will left it to my uh, colleague, British. If you uh, conclusion, if you do the conclusion and finish it up, that would be better. Definitely. Thank you so much for giving it up to me. Yeah, as my colleague mentioned, it's a simple yet effective board, which could serve all the basic functionalities. But having said that, there are a lot of room for opportunities to improve the board, mostly in the coding part, since it's a simple board and it serves all the functionalities like kicking the ball, rushing the ball forward, taking the nearby boost. It's a really smart board, as we all saw in the video as well. And uh, the downfalls can be covered by um, coding it better, adding more features to it, adding more dimensions to it, whether it's in the vector part or it's the physics of the game in general. And if we could have achieved that, we could, of course, come with a better board in future. Uh, but yeah, we tried our best to yeah cover all the functionalities and making it simple yet effective and scoring goals even defending and yeah i hope we did uh, really well as a team and it was a fun journey all over all together all right Thank thanks you. thanks for your attention and i hope you had fun and you enjoyed it